What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Transfer News video and today we will talk about Yuri Tillemans, the Belgian international playing for Leicester City. The reports are saying that he's open to a move to Liverpool because he's devastated that Leicester City once again missed out on Champions League football on the last day of the season. Last season and this season combined in the two seasons Leicester were in the top four for like more than 500 days and in both seasons seasons they missed out on the fourth place uh, on the last day of the season so I'm sure that Tillemans is really really disappointed and fed up with it and I'm not sure an FA Cup win and Europa League football will keep him at Leicester City. He's now 24 years old and he is entering the prime of his career so I'm sure that he wants to make the next step in his career. So guys if you enjoy these videos leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on the bell notification so you never miss the latest Liverpool Trust use upload and and Belgian outlet, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Het Nuisvablad, they claim that Tillemans would be interested in signing for Liverpool if they are interested in him. And the same stores also state that Tillemans is a quite high up on Jurgen Klopp's transfer shortlist this summer as Liverpool are looking to replace Jorginho Wijnaldum who is uh, very close to signing for Barcelona. Liverpool are also credited with serious interest in Yves Bissouma according to the Times newspaper but Tillemans it looks like could be the priority for Liverpool so let me know in the comments below out of Tillemans or Bissouma which would be your preferred transfer target I, I would sign Tillemans if I had to choose uh, from the two because he is a player who could score goals regularly for Liverpool he scored nine goals in 51 appearances for Leicester last season he has five goals in the season before that and in his first season he scored uh, three goals in just 13 appearances because he was uh, signed in January, I think, on loan from Monaco where he played the first half of the season. On average, he scores between five to ten goals each season. And I mean, at Anderlecht in his last season, he had a season where he scored 18 goals in 53 games for Anderlecht, which is pretty impressive. And he is also a Belgian international, already playing 37 games for the Belgium national team. And considering that he's just 24 years old, he already played 358 games in professional football, which is quite an incredible number. And of course, he was part of the Belgium team finishing third in the last World Cup. He won the FA Cup with Leicester, he also won the Belgian Super Cup and two Belgian league titles in 2014 and 2017. So he already knows what it takes to play for a really big club because Anderlecht one of the biggest clubs in uh, in Belgium and I mean he's the player who scored the winner in the FA Cup final so he will, his name will be forever remembered in Leicester City's history as the player to secure their first ever FA Cup win in a really really awesome FA Cup final I really thoroughly enjoyed it and Kevin Campbell former Premier League player said that Tillemans would really fit in well at Liverpool he said I think Tillemans would fit in at Liverpool perfectly he will add more of a go threat as well especially from range and from midfield he is a very good footballer and he would be very very capable filling the void left by Wijnaldum listen when you are Liverpool and you lose a player like Wijnaldum you have to replace him with quality. Wijnaldum is so underrated and when he is not there, Liverpool will miss him. Jurgen Klopp will buy uh, right uh, though. He knows what he needs and he will purchase correctly. And I'm sure that the Liverpool scouts have looked at uh, many, many different midfielders uh, across the leagues. Uh, we are linked with Bissouma, Tillemans now. We are linked with Neuhaus in Germany. And I'm really excited who Liverpool will bring in, which midfielder will fill the void of uh, Wijnaldum. And former Liverpool player Paul Stewart has urged Liverpool to sign Wijnaldum, uh, sorry, Tillemans, to replace Wijnaldum, claiming that, that Tillemans would basically walk into the Liverpool midfield. He said, he has been excellent all season and I've watched him play and he is another player that I really admire. I think Tillemans would really enhance Liverpool's squad and he would walk straight into the team because he's someone with massive quality and ability. 
I don't think he would walk into the Liverpool team. He would definitely have to fight for his place. But Fabinho and Henderson are pretty much nailed on to start. And then the third midfielder usually is Thiago. But in different games, different tactics and different players are needed. So in some games, Naby Keita could play. In some games, Tillemans could play. But then you could also make a case for selling Naby Keita for around 30, 35 million. And then for a similar price, we could buy Tillemans, who is even younger than Naby Keita, who is much less injury prone. Because Tillemans, I mean, regularly he plays 30, 40 games every season. He didn't have an injury hit season yet in his career. And also, he played 51 games this season for Leicester City. That is absolutely incredible. And not only did Tillemans score nine goals, he also registered six assists for Leicester City last season. And he also averaged a who scored player rating of 7.03 across the campaign, which is a really, really good score. Like he gets a 7 out of 10 in pretty much every game on average. And Liverpool announced the goal of the season winner and of course it was Alisson's 95th minute absolutely amazing winner against West Brom. I love it that a goalkeeper goal won the goal of the season award. But also the top 7, 6 of those goals after Alisson is scored by Mo Salah. That is absolutely incredible that uh, if it wasn't for that miracle goal, Salah would have scored the six best goals for Liverpool this season. That is absolutely brilliant. But I also, I'm just absolutely in love with that Alisson goal. I will watch that again today because I just can never get tired of it. And there, yes, Trent Alexander-Arnold was included in Gareth Southgate's 26-man squad for the Euros. And I mean, he had to be included. He's the best right back in the world. So how on earth was there even a question or even a debate whether Trent Alexander-Arnold would be taken or not? And it's quite weird that England are taking four right backs to the Euros and even uh, I think Aaron Wan-Bissaka didn't even make the cut. And I absolutely love that Trent Alexander-Arnold posted a picture of himself holding an England shirt saying always believe in yourself, Sil silence the doubters and then an England flag. So I'm really really hoping that Trent Alexander-Arnold will be a starter for England because otherwise like what are you doing Gareth Southgate you absolute moron if you don't start Trent Alexander-Arnold who has uh, pretty much uh, the best uh, right foot out of any anybody in the England squad uh, then then you don't know what you're doing Southgate and my biggest surprise was probably Oliver Watkins the Aston Villa striker not being taken to the Euros but there are so many great forwards uh, in the England setup that uh, Probably they couldn't have included everybody and Jordan Henderson and Harry Maguire who are still out injured right now But they are getting ready to be back uh, fit. They are also included in the England squad So Jordan Henderson and Trent Alexander-Arnold are the two Liverpool players included in the in the England squad uh, Joe Gomez is still out injured That's why he is not going to the Euros which I really feel sorry for him because this would have been a big, big tournament for Joe Gomez and he would have been a starter because the other, the other centre-backs, I mean John Stones, Harry Maguire, Tyrone Means, Conor Cody, they are all worse than Joe Gomez pretty much. And Gareth Southgate actually quashed the rumours that Trent Alex Ronald was in any doubt of being taken to the Euros. He said, I spoke with Trent about three weeks ago. So where the stories over the last couple of weeks uh, come from, I have no idea, lots of strange headlines, lots of strange stories. I felt there were stories that ran that were so far off the truth. I would never normally speak to a player because I read a lot of stories about myself that are not true. But I have to accept that's the job I'm in. But when it's a player, they might think the manager is speaking to the press behind my back. That's obviously not the case. Last night we are dealing with that. He's taking set plays in the morning ahead of tomorrow's game and then he's reading that he's not going to the Euros. I really don't understand it. For me it's no drama. I accept as England manager it's what I deal with. We went through this last week. We have four players that play sometimes at right back for their clubs. Basically they are in the best 26 footballers and that is why they are in the squad. If I could have picked 
five or six right backs I would have done we are here to play nine games we have we are already we already have some injury doubts in the group we need adaptability good players good professionals and we are fortunate we have old and young players as well to do that and I'm really delighted to see that Jack Grealish is taken into the squad and this will be a really big tournament for Jaden Sancho for Phil Foden I think those two players could have breakthrough tournaments as well as Trent Alexander-Arnold. But Gareth Southgate, just please, just start Trent Alexander-Arnold. He will do absolute magical things for you if you start him. And I'm just hearing that Liverpool are going to extend Adrian's contract. Liverpool's third choice goalkeeper was nowhere near good enough for Liverpool last season so why are we extending his contract i don't know an ex tottenham goalkeeper paul robertson uh, said this i'm very surprised to hear adrian is getting a contract extension because he was poor last season he came in he did well when the team was winning but as soon as he came under pressure he conceded goals his confidence looked shot at times it is a position where liverpool have really struggled in recent times Alisson has been amazing but other than him the options have not been good enough i presume adrian will be third choice next season if he stays and signs a new deal so that is something he needs to consider he has not managed to rediscover the form he showed when he first came into the club and that is why i'm surprised to hear they want to offer him another contract so yeah it's definitely a surprise and i'm not sure why we are extending Adrian's contract but more power to Liverpool uh, they know what they are doing and Andy Robertson also suggested that uh, Van Dijk missing the Euros could actually benefit Liverpool next term that's pretty obvious but this is what trend uh, sorry this is what Robertson said I have seen Van Dijk go through his rehab very struggling at times of course and now coming through the other side with his smile getting bigger and bigger again he feels as if he's close to fitness and close to playing again and for me being close to him it is obviously tough i want my mates to do well and i want my friends to play at the biggest tournament when they qualify to see him not make the, the euros is obviously hard but he has made the best decision for his career he seems quite content with that decision obviously he's disappointed but he has made the best decision for his body and that's why he has ruled himself out it's a huge loss for the netherlands but from a selfish point of view if he is fully fit and ready for next season then that obviously helps Liverpool because for me he's the best defender in the world and hopefully next season and in other seasons to come he will show that again so yeah good luck to Virgil van Dijk and let's hope that he can get back to full fitness in pre-season and hopefully he can start the first game in the Premier League and Gareth Southgate said that Jordan Henderson has trained with the England squad all week so that's been good Henderson has a bit to do to be available for the Euros but his leadership and presence is already having an effect on the group he will be involved in the game against Austria his progress is good but we are realistic about what that might look like so thanks for watching that's it for today's video i really hope that you guys are having a great day and thank you so much for your awesome support on my recent videos it really means the world to me see you later have a nice day good night